Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Spot the Movie. My name is Sven, and I will be your host for tonight's show. Without further ado, let's meet today's teams. Start with the uh, the red team over here, captained by Pippa, and of course, joining Pippa is the lovely Katie. How are you two today? Very yeah. well, thank you. Yes, and uh, are you guys excited to be on the show today? Yeah, yeah. yeah really yeah. excited. Are you guys? Uh, I mean, are you guys going to win? Of course, that's why we're here. Okay, that's what I like to hear. All right, well, standing in their way, of course, their opponents today, the blue team. And uh, captain by Amy, and joined alongside Amy is, of course, Nathan. How are you two today? Okay. Good. Yeah. Yes, so you, guys, you guys excited? You guys yeah, really ready excited. To win? Yeah? yeah? You guys confident? Obviously. Okay, that's good to hear. That's what I like to hear. So the game goes a little something like this. Two teams will have to go through four rounds. And if the team knows the answers to the questions, they'll have to buzz their buzzer. So uh, let's just go ahead and give those buzzers a try, shall we? Red team, you're up first. Yep, absolutely perfect. It works. And blue team. Yes, that's absolutely fantastic. Okay, the final round, however, will not require a buzzer. The final round is a lightning round. Very, very dramatic. We'll have one contestant from each team answer as many questions as possible in 30 seconds. At the end of the show, the team that gathers the most points wins. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right on it. Round number one. Guess the actor. In this round, I will show you guys a picture of an actor. And uh, if you guys know who it is, then buzz right in, okay? Are we ready? Let's get the first actor on, please. And that is the blue team. And it's with Amy. Amy, who is that? Um, Matt Dawson. That is incorrect, Amy, unfortunately. It is not Matt Dawson. Red team, you guys have a chance? Is it Matt Damon? That is absolutely <laughs> correct, Katie. It is Matt Damon. Yes. That'll be one point for the red team. Sorry. So, let's move on to our second actor then. So, the five second time limit is up and unfortunately our contestants were unable to answer. Uh, the answer is, in fact, Kirsten Dunst. That was the answer. Okay, let's move on to the third picture. Once again, unfortunately, uh, a very tough picture, a tough actor. Our contestants unable to answer. I mean, do you guys think that the pictures so far have been tough, Pippa? Yeah, I mean, not being able to see half the faces is quite, yeah. quite tricky. Well, you know, I mean, that is, I guess, the point of the round. But okay, <laughs> moving on to round four. Uh, I mean, sorry, picture four. Let's have it. And it is on Katie for the red team. Is it Kate Blanchett? That is absolutely correct, Katie. It is Kate Blanchett. Another point for the red team. So our final picture for this round. Let's have it on. And unfortunately, <laughs> our contestants were unable to figure out who that actor was. The answer was, in fact, Al Pacino. So after the opening round, let's have a quick look at the scores, please. So, the red team in the lead with two points, two very good points for the red team. And the blue team, unfortunately, on zero. However, don't worry, you guys. Still plenty of rounds for you guys to catch up. Okay, so, let's head on to round two then, shall we? Guess the film and television quote. In this round, our contestants will have to guess which film or television series this famous quote belongs to. Our first quote is this. Here's looking at you, kid. <laughs> One more time. Here's looking at you, kid. And unfortunately, <laughs> the five second time limit is up and our contestants are unable to guess where that, which movie that quote came from. It was in fact Casablanca from 1942. Okay. Uh, moving on to the next quote, then. Here it is. Now, bring me that horizon. 
And it's on Amy for the blue team. Lion King? That is unfortunately <laughs> not the correct answer, Amy. Red team, you have an opportunity to guess. Is the film called Bring Me the Horizon? Unfortunately, <laughs> it's a good one. A good guess anyways. The movie was in fact Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl. Okay, moving on to quote number three. Happiness can be found even in the darkest... And it was a very quick buzz from the red team. Katie, it is on you. Harry Potter. Excuse me? Harry Potter. That is correct. It is Harry Potter. <laughs> very well done. Another point for the red team. Wow, you guys are really cruising right now. Very well done. Okay, let's move to the fourth round, please. I mean, sorry, the fourth question. Here it is. Fourth quote. Winning that ticket, Rose was the best thing that ever... <laughs> and a quick buzz from the blue team. Could you earn your first point? Nathan, it's on you. Titanic. That is absolutely yeah. correct, Nathan. The blue team gather their first point. <laughs> and here is the final quote of round two. Okay. You mean that I actually have frickin' sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their frickin' heads? Pippa. Is it Sharknado? That is unfortunately incorrect, and you have a chance to answer, blue team? Pass. Okay, okay. The correct answer was, in fact, Austin Powers, gold member. So, after round two, let's just have a quick look at the scores, shall we? So, the red team coasting at the moment with three points. Very well done, you girls. And the blue team with one point. Only two points separate the teams, and we've still got three rounds to go. So, with that being said, let's head to our third round. Guess the theme tune. In this round, our contestants will have to listen very carefully to a piece of music that we will play for them, and they'll have to guess which TV series the theme song belongs to. So, let's have our first theme song. And unfortunately, the 10 second time limit for the theme song is up. None of you were able to press the buzzer in that time, so the answer was actually Sherlock, the very famous and popular BBC uh, TV series, Sherlock. Uh, never the, nevertheless, we still got uh, four other theme songs to get through, so let's have our second theme song. A very quick buzz from Katie on the red team. Game of Thrones. That is absolutely <laughs> correct, Katie. It is Game of Thrones. Another point for the red team. <laughs> Whew. Nathan, Amy, how are we doing? Just like, going easy on them. Go, yeah. Going easy on them, eh? Are you guys going to catch them up in the lightning round? Yeah. We, okay, all right, okay. Well, you've got two more, th uh, three more themes to get to here. Uh, let's play the third team then. <laughs> And it's a slightly unconfident buzz, but Nathan from the blue team, it's on you. Is it Pokemon? That is absolutely yes. correct, Nathan. <laughs> Fantastic, it is Pokemon. Uh, of course, everybody's uh, favorite uh, game and uh, TV series from when they were younger. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's move on to our next theme, please. Okay, so unfortunately our contestants were unable to answer uh, the theme song. Very, uh, very famous uh, uh, TV series that was gaining a lot of headlines recently. It was actually Breaking Bad, starring a uh, chemistry teacher who turns into a meth de uh, cooker. Yes, so moving on to our final theme for this round then. Let's have it. <laughs> Once again, our competitor is struggling to guess the theme song. It was, in fact, The Office. 
The Office was that theme song. <laughs> Very tough one, but okay, we've sailed through round three. Let's have a quick look at the scores after round three, then. The red team currently in the lead with four points, and the blue team just two points behind them with two points. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been very, very close so far as we head into our fourth round. In this round, our contestants will not be needing their buzzers as we'll be showing them two clips each. Round four is what happens next. In this round, we'll be showing them a clip and they will have to guess what happens next after the scene has been paused. So, uh, I believe the red team is up first. Pippa, Katie, are you guys ready? We're ready. ready. Yes, okay. Let's play the red team's first clip, please. What say there, fussy britches? Do you like talking? Uh. Oh, guess not. Why should she be any different? This is a conspiracy. That's what this is. So, what happens... <laughs> Is this the part when he throws a rock out the wall and it breaks through the poster? Let's find out, shall we? If Pippa's correct. One big damn conspiracy! And everyone's in on it! So, as you could see from the clip there, Pippa, you are absolutely Yay! correct. The red team, very, very good at the moment. They've got five points as we speak. So, red team, uh, you guys confident you can guess the next clip as well? After you've guessed that one? I hope we can do this. Yes. Did you enjoy the movie, by the way, Shawshank Redemption? Uh, yes, it did. It's one of my favorite films. That's good to know. All right, then, let's move on to the next clip. Ron does a spell on Malfoy where it says eat slugs and then it fires back at Ron and he yes. throws it. Okay, let's slugs. have a look if you're correct, Katie. Play the footage. Eat slugs. <laughs> you okay, Ron? Say something. Oh. And as you can see there, Katie, you were absolutely correct. Two out of two for the red team. Wow. Blue team. Pressure is on, isn't it? Okay. So, blue team, just like the red team, we will give you two clips and you know what to do. So, let's play blue team's first clip. Just don't let me catch you with an animal in here, that's all. All right. Take care now. Bye-bye then. Okay, uh, blue team, let's have the answer. What do you think happens next? Well, then his animal comes into shot. All of his animals <laughs> come into shot. Let's have a look if you were correct. <laughs> what a great <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as you saw from that clip, Amy is absolutely correct, pulling a point back for the blue team. It was, in fact, the answer that she said. Okay, we've got one more clip for you here. Let's play the clip for the blue team. You forgot cursed. You failed me. You failed me! All right, so blue team, do you guys have any idea what happens next? Take away, Nathan. Have, have a guess, Amy. Um, they have a fight. They have a fight. Yeah, like a fist fight. 
All right, let's see <laughs> if Amy was correct. They have a fist fight. Play the footage. Just give me a chance. Oh. <laughs> I must have watched the censor version. <laughs> As we can see from there, I mean, not so much a fist fight, more of a, you know, gunfight. He shoots him. <laughs> Unfortunate, guys, but still very well done, both of you, both our teams. So, after the fourth round, let's have a quick recap on the scores, shall we? The red team with six points and the blue team with three points. Okay, so... After four rounds, four intense rounds, we head to the lightning round. A very intense lightning round. So our contestants will have 30 seconds to answer as many questions as possible within the time limit. So I need one player from each team to play. So red, uh, blue team, I believe you're up first. Which player is going to play? I'll, I'll play. You'll play? Okay. We can do this. Uh, here we go. So could we have... Uh, the clock, please. 30 seconds. Who won the 2014 Oscar for leading male actor? Um, Bradley Cooper. Which actor plays Bane in Batman The Dark Knight Rises? Tom Hardy. Who wrote and directed the 2011 movie Midnight in Paris? Um, oh, uh, pass. Johnny Depp once starred as a man with scissors instead of hands. What was his name? Edward Scissorfinger Hands. Name Leonard Hofstadter's annoying flatmate. Who? No, it's pass. What is the name of the princess in Sleeping Beauty? Uh, pass. How many horcruxes were created by Voldemort? Uh, eight. Which English actor plays a doctor in an American TV drama? <laughs> and oh, that... um, <laughs> George Clooney. No. How? Unfortunately, time is, <laughs> time is up for you, Amy. You were able to gather two points in that round. So, uh, unfortunately... Uh, I don't know if that'll be enough to beat the red team. Uh, let's have a look, red team. Uh, your turn. Can we have 30 seconds on the clock, please? Which actor plays the character Marty McFly? Pass. In which actor will, uh, which actor will play the new Batman? Pass. In The Lion King, who is Pumbaa's best friend? Tomorrow. In Back to the Future, how fast does the DeLorean need to go to achieve time travel? Pass. Who plays the character Morpheus in the Matrix series? Pass. Who hosted the 2014 Academy Award ceremony? Pass. What is the name of the tiger in Life of Pi? <laughs> and after that lightning round, the red team were only able to secure one point. Will it be enough to beat the blue team, however? Let's have a look at the scores. The red team finishing the game with seven points. And the blue team with five points. Ladies and gentlemen, what a great way to finish the show. Thank you for joining us. Uh, and uh, thank you very much to our guests for joining us. However, it wouldn't be a game show if we didn't have prizes for the winners. So, red team, after a stunning showing, you guys received this big milk chocolate bar. And uh, blue team, a consolation <laughs> prize for you, of course. A lovely, Yay. smaller blue chocolate bar. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Thank you to our guests for coming. And uh, we'll see you next time. Good night and goodbye.